Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your lesson on Euclidean geometry. Today we are looking at ratio and proportion. Without any waste of time, let's look at these things. We're going to begin with ratio. So what a ratio is, is that, or what it does is that it describes the relationship between two similar things. What we mean by a relationship between two similar things is <clears throat> if you are perhaps counting um, number of slices in your loaf of bread and comparing it to how many, uh, the number of slices that whatever individuals in your household have eaten. Now, when you look at it, you're looking at the, uh, the slices of bread and the members of your family okay so let's continue now it is indeed a comparison between two quantities of the same kind and has no units you will get to understand the meaning of has no units shortly okay and it is also written as a fraction or sometimes um you can write it, or not sometimes, it's also written as when you compare the two um, things that you're comparing, you will separate them by a column, okay? You will separate them by a column, but don't worry, you will get to see that shortly. So, an example that we're going to use here is this, is that AC is 35, can you see that? Now, in this example, we will ask you this. We will say, determine the ratio. Okay, we will say, determine, um, let's say, AB is to AC, but that's the first ratio. The second will be BC, let's say BC is to AC, okay? And then, thirdly, I want you to look at AB is to BC. So, note, I'm saying this is read as AB is to, let me not case of it, this is read as A2, rather AB is to AC, okay? AB is to AC. All right. So, I want you to look at this. AC, as you can see, AC, let me change the color, AC is 35 centimeters. Okay. Now, when you look at AB, also pay attention. This whole thing is 35 centimeters, but it is divided in seven parts. So if it's divided in seven parts, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 35 divided by seven, rather 35 divided, yes, 35 divided by seven will be, I believe, five, all right? Will be five. So when you look at this, this will be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Can you see that? Can you see that? Now, what is AB? AB will be 15 centimeters. AB is 15 centimeters. What about BC? If AB is 15 centimeters and AC is 30, I guess we can say BC is 20 centimeters. But let's confirm. BC is 5, 10, 15, 20. So indeed, it is 20 centimeters. All right? So this is what you need to answer this question. Now, our solution, now let's answer it. You will say, number one, AB is to AC is equal to, what is the length of AB? It is 15 centimeters. What is the length of AC? It is 35 centimeters. 
remember you can also represent this as you can also represent this as a b over a c what is it it's 15 over 35 now simplify it when you simplify it you will find that you have i see here the highest common factor is five when you press this on your calculator your calculator will return three over seven all right your calculator will return three over seven similarly when you do this it will still be three over seven okay but going forward i will use this one here okay perfect number two we're looking at the ratio of bc is to ac what is bc bc is 20 centimeters okay what is ac ac is 35 centimeters now on your calculator highest common factor here it's still five on your calculator your calculator will return four over seven okay so 20 over 35 your calculator will return four over seven so the ratio is four is to seven number three a b is to b c what's your answer the answer is what is a b a b is 15 a b is 15 what is b c b c was 20 all right b c was 20. again if you were to press this on your calculator say 15 over 20 your calculator will return 3 over 4. in other words a b is to b c is 3 over is 3 over 4. now i had said to you that ratios are uh, somehow have no units right have no units now let me show you why a b was a b was 15 centimeters all right a b was 15 centimeters b c was 35 centimeters now as you can see as you can see you can basically see the centimeters are cancelling hence ratios have no units okay hence ratios have no units okay all right now let's look at proportion so when we talk about proportion what it does is that it looks at it looks at the equality of two ratios or of ratios okay so when you have two or more ratios this is where you will be this is where you will be using your proportions okay so here we will say for example remember we are when we talk of proportion we basically talk in the equality of ratios so let's say we have a b as an example draw this and then we will talk i want you to draw this so i'm going to give you about 15 minutes 15 seconds sorry to draw this then we will be done okay so we're going to play around this let's see now let's say we have a b i will say a b over b c remember what i have said to you you can describe your ratios as fractions okay so a b over b c i will say to you it is equal to d e over e f okay let's see indeed if that's the case what do we have what is a b a b is x units what is b c b c is y units what is d e d e is k x what is e f e f is k y let's see that mm. i repeat 
AB over BC is X over Y, while DE over EF is KY. Does this look the same? So far, it doesn't look like they are equal, right? So far, it doesn't look like they are equal, but I can assure you they are equal because the Ks will cancel, right? Because the Ks will cancel. Now, check what, what this is. Going to the next page, this will be x over y is equal to x over y. Can you see that? Then we call this number one. Can you see that? Perfect. Now we will try AB over AC. Again, it must work. AB over AC is equal to DE over DF. Okay? We're looking at AB over AC, and we are saying it is equal to DE over DF. Right? It is equal to DE over DF. Let's see. Yes. So what is AB? AB is X. What is AC? This is AC. AC is X plus Y. Okay? AC is X plus Y. What is DE? I believe it was X. Rather KX. Yes, DE was KX. But what is DF? DF is KX plus KY. So this is KX plus KY. Okay? Continuing. Let's see. If it's a if it's a proportion if they are if they are proportions, um the ratios will be equal. So here we have kx, and here we have a common factor, which is k. Take it out. What are we left with? We are left with x plus y. Now, as you can see, the case will cancel. What are you left with? x over x plus y is equal to x over x plus y. So this is what we mean by saying things are in proportion. Okay? When we say things are in proportion, we mean that their fractions are the same or are equal. Okay? We mean that their fractions are equal. Okay? All right. So you have seen ratios and now and you have also seen proportions. All right? Now, for Euclidean geometry, I want you to note something. If you are given, let's say, um, if you are given, let's say, this is, um, I'm going to say this, this is A, this is B, and then this is C. If they say A is 3 millimeters, and AB is 3 millimeters, and BC is 11 millimeters it'll be easy for you when they say to you what is a b is to a c right when they ask you that question or if maybe they don't ask it like this they ask it in this way a b is to a c however they ask it it doesn't matter if they ask it in this way you can leave it as a fraction i will show you first and first you should know that you don't have a c here but you can find it. What is AC? You can simply say AC is AB plus BC, isn't it? What is AB? It is 3 millimeters. What is BC? It is 11 millimeters. Now, what is AC? 11 plus 3 is 14 millimeters. Okay? It's 14 millimeters. Now, to answer this question of AB over AC, it's simply to say, what is AB? It is 3 millimeters. What is AC? It is 14 millimeters. This is, as you can see, the millimeters basically are cancelling. We are left with 3 is over 14. But for this one here, AB is to AC. What is it? It is 3 is to 14. 
Okay, remember, you have two ways of representing this. In this way here, or in this way here. Okay, so with that being said, it's a wrap, and I hope you understand ratios and proportions. Remember, with proportions, you are equating two ratios. Those ratios must really be proportional. Okay, they must really be equal. Okay, to say they are equal, if you are taking AB here, you must also take something that corresponds to AB in the other, which is DE. If you are taking BC, take something that corresponds to BC here, which is EF. Okay, otherwise, it is not always the case that um, two ratios must be the same. If two ratios are not the same, they are not proportional. Okay, if two ratios are not the same, they are not proportional. Okay, let me let me write this note. If A of B, let's say you have it like this. Let's say you have it like this. A, B, C, and then you have D, E, F. Note, if A, B over B, C, is not equal to DE over EF. These things are not proportional. Okay? Okay? The ratios are not proportional. Okay? The ratios are not proportional. Okay? And you can only say they are proportional if you are given their individual values. Okay? So, with that being said, it's at that end. See you next time. So, bye-bye.